Hi, I'm Derek Morris with Niagara Belco Elevator. In today's video, we're going to go over the assembly of the winding drum unit for the winding drum residential elevator. So, if you want to have a look here, we have the different parts unassembled. You have your gearbox, you have the motor shaft. This is the piece that makes sure that the ropes stay apart and that they don't cross over. You have your motor, you have your 3 8 galvanized cable. You have your winding drum that the ropes will roll onto. And then you have your shelf here. That's the first thing that you'll mount in order to start the assembly process. Okay, we have, at this point, we have the shelf uh, lagged in to the side. Uh, make sure that it's lagged in properly at all four locations. And again, like Brian said in a previous video, you don't need to pull that side tabs into the wood. It's just to be stable, so that gap that you're seeing there is fine. Put the three back bolts that are to grab the assembly loose in the back holes so that they're easier to get at once you put the assembly in front of it. And the assembly itself is slotted at those locations so it will slide under those bolts allowing you to tighten it. So now this assembly is about 120 pounds. You're going to probably want two people. So now it's in place, sliding those slots underneath those bolts. So because of the access behind the drum, and obviously you've got a hoistway wall at the back side of that shelf, you're going to want an extension on your uh, ratchet and reach down and you should be able to grab those bolts without issue. So now uh, we've tightened the front three bolts, which the access to those are fine. And we've tightened the back bolts that we mentioned in the last segment there that you slid underneath. So now you have your drum assembly completely installed. The next step is to install the motor. All right, so now we're going to install the motor. So I'll just pause while Brian continues to install all these bolts. Okay, now that you've installed the motor and put your bolts in, you're going to tighten those bolts up. You cannot always access the one right in the back here, but it is not necessary to even install it. Three bolts will suffice for this. Now you can do your wiring. Um, so your wires are here for your brake to hook into. You'll run your wires up for that. This is for your motor. Uh, you'll connect that to your controller. Just take this out and change it for your wires. And this is your safety switch, which will go on here. We put a fitting on so you know that's not the one that you attach to. You will attach to the outside too and strap that back up like that. We'll do another video shortly where we show you the termination points in the controller.